you are tired of manually making selections to replace a sky, then stay tuned to learn all about the new sky replacement tool in Photoshop 2021 that will help you replace skies with almost one click. Hey guys and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial and in this tutorial we're gonna be testing the new sky replacement tool that came up with Photoshop 2021 and I'm gonna show you how it works. So this new tool is available under edit and down here you'll find the new sky replacement option. Once you click on that Photoshop is gonna automatically analyze your image, creates a layer mask and replaces the sky for you. And just like that, as you can see, we were able to easily replace the sky with almost one click. So this tool uses Adobe's artificial intelligence known as Adobe Sensei. It's the same algorithm used in the Select and Mask panel and it's gotten really good in the past two updates. And I think this tool is going to be very useful for a lot of people, even for an advanced user like me. I can see myself using this tool in the future a lot. Okay, so you have a couple of options here to change to help you blend your sky better with your image. First, you can change the sky image from here and you have three folders to choose from. You have a blue skies folder for images with the daylight situation, a spectacular folder and also a sunsets folder. You can also import your own skies and you can do that in two different ways. First, you can click on here and select import skies. Now Photoshop supports a new .sky extension which means that you can import or export your own sky packs as a preset. And the second way is that you can import your own sky as a JPEG file by clicking on here and then you can import your own sky. I'm gonna double click on this one. You can also rename the sky and click OK and it's gonna be imported uh, down here and you can use this as your own sky replacement. Okay, we have more options down here to tweak. The first one is shift edge and as the name implies, this will allow you to, to shift the edge inside or outside your selection. And you will see it a little bit better when I reduce the brightness all the way down. You can now see the edge a little bit better. Now you can use this slider to push the edge inside and remove that fringing from the edges. You also have the Refine Edge brush and this works just like the Select and Mask Refine brush and remove any fringes. But in this case we don't really need to do this because Photoshop did an amazing job on selecting the edges and most of the time this tool is gonna automatically choose the best options for you. Okay next we have the Fade Edge and this slider is gonna fade the edge on the horizon line and that's gonna help you blend the edges a little bit better. So now I'm going to increase the brightness. I'm going to shift the edge inside. And then I'm going to faint the edge to blend it with the new sky. Okay, next you have the temperature slider. And using this slider you can make your image warmer or cooler. So in this case I'm going to make the image a little bit more warm. And I think that looks a little bit better. Okay, you can also scale your image and match it with the horizon line. And you can also use the move tool and move your image to get it to match exactly how you want it. You can also flip the image from here to match the light direction. And in this case, we want the light direction to be coming from the right side. Okay, you also have more options at the bottom for the foreground adjustments. First you have the lighting mode which is set to multiply, you can also change it to screen. But in this case multiply works a little bit better. You have the lighting adjustments which will make your image lighter or darker. And lastly you have the, your color adjustments. And, and this also will change the color of your foreground. Okay, once you're happy with your settings you can choose your output options. And what I really like about this tool is that it is non-destructive. If I choose new layers from here from the drop down and then I'm going to click OK. You will see that it automatically creates the masks and the adjustment layers needed to replace the sky. 
and that means that I can alt click on my layer mask and I can refine this layer mask further. So in this case, if I want to adjust my layer mask further and remove some fringes, I can take my brush tool, then I can change the blending mode to overlay. And now using a low flow and opacity, I can paint with white to remove that fringing from the edges and further enhance my layer mask. You can see that it also created a color balance and the brightness and contrast adjustment layers and I can further modify these adjustment layers and match my sky with my foreground. Okay, so for this image I want to create a sunset scene and I want to make my foreground a little bit darker. So I can do this very fast and easy with the color lookup table. I'm going to choose a new color lookup adjustment layer. And then from the presets, I'm going to choose the late sunset preset. And then I'm going to reduce my opacity a little bit to get a realistic effect. Uh, after that, I can make my foreground a little bit darker with the levels adjustment layer. And I can make the mid-tones and the shadows a little bit darker. Okay, so this is before and after. And as you can see, with just a couple of clicks, we were able to take the image from this to this. Okay, so let's test this tool on a little bit more complicated image. And now I can again go to Edit, Sky Replacement. And as you can see, again, Photoshop did a really good job on selecting those edges. I'm going to choose the different background for this one from the blue skies folder. I think I'm going to go with this one. And then I can increase my brightness to match the original image. I'm going to also increase the temperature. And I'm going to move this guy to find a better angle. As you can see, there is a little bit of fringing here at the edges of the palm trees. We can also use the shift edge slider to remove that. Okay, so this is before and after. And as you can see, that was really easy to do for this image as well. And again, if there's a little bit of fringing or areas that did not get selected well, you can alt click on your layer mask and take your brush tool and paint with overlay on any areas that you want to restore. In this case, I can paint with black on these areas to restore the palm trees. Okay, so now you know how this tool works. I want to mention one thing about this tool and it's probably a downside is that it will not replace reflections for you. You're going to need to do the work on that part for yourself. And let me show you how to do that in my next example. In this example, we have an image of a beach on a sunset. And let's first replace the sky on this one. I'm going to go to edit and then sky replacement again. I'm going to wait a little bit for it to do the trick. And as you can see, it created a really nice selection and automatically replaced the sky for us. Uh, first, I'm going to replace the sky. I'm going to choose uh, the image that I imported before. I'm going to choose this one. Then I need to match the light direction first. In this case, it's coming from the left. So I'm going to flip it. And I can also move the image on the canvas to get it exactly how I want. So I think it looks nice. 
and now I can accept the changes click OK and as you can see it automatically added that group with the layer masks needed for us so now we need the reflection of that sky at the bottom area of the image in order for this to look realistic so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna alt click on the sky image I'm gonna alt click and duplicate it at the top first uh, first as you can see these two layers are linked I'm gonna right click and choose unlink layers I can then I'm, I'm gonna also disable the layer mask and then I'm gonna click on Control T I'm gonna move my anchor point to the bottom and then I'm gonna right click and choose flip vertical so, so now we need this guy to be only visible on these light areas of the reflection so we can do this with blend if so you're gonna need to double click on your layer and then in the underlying layer options we can make this not visible in the dark areas and then you can hold alt or option to split this slider and make it transition to make it look realistic so that looks really good I'm gonna click OK and as you can see that looks like a realistic reflection we can also change the blending mode to darken or multiply to blend this a little bit better I'm gonna choose multiply and I'm gonna also reduce my opacity a little bit now I'm gonna click back on my layer mask I'm gonna fill this layer mask with white and then I'm gonna take my brush tool and hide this layer from these areas first I need to change the blending mode back to normal and then I'm gonna brush over here to hide it from this area we can also choose a different blending mode and I think also the normal blending mode is not bad that's before and after so that's how to use the new sky replacement tool in Photoshop and also how to create reflections I hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like this video subscribe to the channel and also tell me what do you think in the comments below if you want to go a little bit more advanced on selections and sky replacement I have my previous video on the advanced sky replacement techniques that you can watch other than that I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video